Good morning. You're listening to Senior Scene on your hometown station, 1430 WNAV. I'm Joshua Killian, social media producer with the Anne Arundel County Department of Aging and Disabilities, and today my guest is Bruce Morgenstern, president of the Anne Arundel County and City of Annapolis Community Emergency Response Team, or the AAA CERT. Welcome to Senior Scene, Bruce. Thanks for having me here today, Josh. And our local CERT team can be seen around the county responding to emergencies like the COVID pandemic and major storms as well as supporting blue sky events like parades and festivals. Could you tell us a little bit about what a CERT team is and how they help the residents of Anne Arundel County? Sure, uh, AAA CERT is a 501c3 nonprofit that operates in conjunction with the county and city offices of emergency management and under FEMA guidelines to provide emergency preparedness and response training to community, community members. And with the volunteers who join our ranks to actually respond to emergencies. In fact, we provided over 8,400 hours of service during COVID, supporting food distributions, vaccine clinics, and as call takers helping uh, filter calls for the health department. We were even warehouse workers at the Anne County Food Bank for a while. We also provided support for major storms, again acting as call takers, but also helping with windshield assessments of damage following the tornado that hit the Annapolis area. And during blue skies, we practice our skills by helping county and city government and local nonprofits with special events. We're looking forward to helping the county with the upcoming Emergency Preparedness Expo at Arundel Mills on September the 25th. And can you tell us a bit about who can become a member of the CERT team? Can an older adult or an individual with a disability join? Or are there any special skills that are needed? And if someone has a special skill or knowledge, is there a way to let CERT know? Absolutely. Membership in AAA CERT is open to anyone 18 or older who wants to volunteer in support of the community, especially during emergency situations. Our youngest member is 18 years old and our oldest is 85. Uh, and many of us have some limitations, but we work as a team and take advantage of the skills we all have. Heck, I'm 71 years old, run the organization and participate in a large percentage of our activities. Uh, to join, you must take our CERT basic training, sign a waiver of liability with the county, and pass a background check. We have a lengthy application, which is effectively a skills inventory because we wanna know who speaks Spanish, who has construction skills, who can drive large vehicles, and who has a medical, military, or emergency response background. By the way, I didn't have any of those skills when I joined, so it's open to everyone. Okay, well, let's say that now that we have all of the information, one of our listeners is ready to volunteer. Can you tell us a bit about the expectations and training required for CERT members? And additionally, if someone isn't ready to become a member yet, what are some of the other ways that they can get involved in emergency preparedness for themselves and for their community? Well, first, take our CERT basic class. It's short notice, but we have one starting this Friday, September 9th at the Fire Training Academy in Millersville. It's a 20 hour class on a Friday evening, all day Saturday, all day Sunday, and the afternoon of the following Sunday. We will teach you about emergency preparedness, basic first aid, light search and rescue, fire safety, how emergency responders organize, psychology of a disaster, and a little bit about terrorism. And the class culminates with a disaster simulation that includes volunteer victims made up to look uh, injured to test the skills that you, that you learned. You can find more at our website, www.aacert.org, A-A-A-Cert.org. Once you join, uh, we require 20 hours of participation a year. We provide monthly training and specialized training for those who are interested in advanced first aid, traffic management, uh, search and rescue, and other related topics. But you don't have to join if you just want to be better prepared to take yourself and your family. Our class will help you do that. And if you can't make this September um, class, our next class will be in the spring in the March-April timeframe. Okay. Well, lastly, uh, could you tell us what the one thing is that you'd like our listeners to take away from our talk today? Yes. Be prepared. Know what to do in an emergency situation so our first responders have a few less residents to be concerned about. Okay, well, Bruce, thank you so much for coming on the show today. Absolutely, Josh. Grateful to be here, and thanks for having me. If you have any questions about today's show, or if you're interested in any of our programs, please feel free to contact the Department of Aging and Disabilities at 410-222-4257, or visit us online. We also encourage everyone to register for our Senior Activity Center programming, which can be found on our website, aacounty.org forward slash senior hyphen center. Please remember to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at AACODOAD and on our YouTube channel at Arundel Seniors. 
You can catch Senior Scene first only on 1430 WNAV. Remember to tune into full episodes on our YouTube channel at Arundel Seniors on Thursdays at 10 a.m. This has been Joshua Killian, social media producer with the Anne Arundel County Department of Aging Disabilities. You've been listening to Senior Scene on your hometown station, 1430 WNAV.